There's, uh, look who's here now, John Katsimatidis. He's joining me. He runs the Gristidis grocery store chain in New York City. John, welcome back to the show. I know that you have hired security guards to help out in your stores. Would you consider locking up food? I understand that some grocers are considering going that far. Uh, one of my managers sent uh, a picture of uh, a Dwayne Reed store. They're locking up cookies. Yeah. Yeah, see yeah well, we're not yeah. going into the position of locking up. We've hired extra security. Uh, has and, it, has uh, it helped? Uh, it, it has helped. Don't forget, uh, when you hire uh, guys that are six foot six, uh, <laughs> some people leave. Yeah. <laughs> but it had been a serious problem it for you. It is a serious problem in New York. And uh, I was with Mayor Adams the last week, and I had him on my radio show. And, I, and he recognizes it's a serious problem. He was a cop at one time, and yep. he, he knows that. Uh, the problem is Albany. Uh, the state Senate and the state Assembly don't give a damn. They don't give a damn. And, you know, you don't, 784 corporate stores have closed in the five boroughs. In New York City, in Manhattan, uh, 27 Rite Aid stores have closed. Uh, and they're going to close for sure in black and brown neighborhoods. That's so a, so who's going to get hurt? Yeah. And I've said to the uh, uh, DA in Manhattan, I said, the people in the black and brown neighborhoods are getting hurt. The price increases are hurting the poor and the middle class. It's not, the rich don't care, but it's hurting the, the middle class for sure. Uh, the gasoline prices are going back down again, which is important. Uh, core inflation has uh, gone down. Uh, and I've called uh, on a press release I put out this morning. I called upon Jay Powell. Don't you dare, don't you dare raise interest rates more than a quarter point because you're going to destroy the rest of the country. Okay. We don't want to destroy the rest of the country to, to fix one problem. Now, we got the CPI, the Consumer Price Index report this morning. Inflation is moderating month to month. It actually went down. What about your grocery stores? Are you seeing grocery price inflation moderate or come down? Right now, they're still going up. But if nothing happens in the oil market, then in the next 90 days, the, the prices of food will start to go down. What, what's You'll the be able market? to afford Oreo cookies again. That's, that's a good news. What's this relationship between the price of oil and grocery store prices? Uh, the, it's diesel fuel that runs all our factories. Hmm. It's uh, diesel fuel that delivers all the trucks delivered to all the stores nationwide. So it's, it, it's it, oil is directly related. It's fertilizer hmm. that's made from crude oil. That, that, uh, so oil crude price of oil, and when President Biden closed down the pipeline and we forced and made the fossil fuel industry the enemy of the people, yeah. it forced the price to go from $55 a barrel to $125. Yeah. But now it's been retreating. It's retreated to $75. I predicted it could retreat as low as $65. If it goes down to $65, all we have to open up if we opened up the spigots in America, yeah. it'd be down. Biden won't. It's so it's simple. Biden he won't, won't do it. He won't do it. No. I can't. No, no American believed. He, he'd rather beg Venezuela, rather beg Saudi Arabia, than open up America. I can't believe it. I have to wind you up. Every time you're on the show, you start slow and you end up with a torrent of a ramp. But, but good. I feel that way. <laughs> I know you you know, I love America. Well, what do you think I, about... I'm an immigrant. You are the, you're an immigrant. You, we yes. love America. Yes, we do. What do you think of Kathy Hochul, the governor of New York, who is going to get rid of gas stoves and gas heating equipment in new small buildings in three years' time? What do you Everybody think? I talk to hates electric stoves. Yeah, exactly. And what That's happens right. if the power goes out? You won't have a car? You won't have, you won't be able to eat, right. and you won't be able to do anything. I think you've made your point, John, and we thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. John Katsimatidis, thank you, sir. Appreciate it.